Did you know that there is an unresolved bug with Roblox Water? Or that it used to have realistic flow physics? Roblox Water is amazing for creating this cool, dreamlike terrain. And while my goal with this video is to help you achieve that, I will also be discussing some interesting facts regarding Roblox Water. Now the very first thing I will be talking about is how to add water, because obviously we can't do anything if there's no water. Now the easiest way of adding water is just to go to the terrain editor and then click on edit. This will give you many different options that you can use to create water. For example, clicking on fill and then selecting water will allow you to fill the specified area with water. And you're also able to draw water, like so, you know? <laughs> that is pretty cool. The second way of adding water is to go to create and then click on generate. This will generate unique terrain in a specified box area. So if I wanted to, I could make this box fairly big and then in the biomes, I can check water, and then I can just uncheck hills and mountains. So we only get water and plains. And then I can hit generate. And so this will generate a piece of terrain that actually looks pretty good. And the third way to add Roblox water, which is a little more advanced, is by using the fill function. Let's say we have a part, for example, right? And let's say this part is, you know, fairly big. And then what if I wanted to have this cube be filled up with water? And this is actually very easy to do. So inside of this console bar, you can type in workspace dot terrain colon fill. Okay, now this will give you several functions. You can fill block, you can fill ball, fill wedge, fill region and fill cylinder. Obviously, because we're dealing with a block shape, we're going to do fill block, which needs three parameters to work. It needs the C frame of the block, it needs the size of the block, and it also needs the material that we want in this case being water. So for fill block, it needs the C frame. So I will say workspace dot parts dot C frame, then the size. So I will say workspace dot parts dot size, and then it needs the material, which is an enum dot material. And in case you don't know what an enum is, I have a video on that so go check it out. But I will say enum dot material dot water. And then when I hit enter, as you can see, it doesn't perfectly fill it because water is wacky. But if I were to delete this cube, well, there we go. We've just successfully filled in water using a script command. Now let's get into the fun stuff, which is customizing the water. And this is actually very simple. So in workspace, click on terrain, and there we go. Water color is fairly simple, okay? It's the color of the water. So you're able to make it red or the default blue. You're also able to change how reflective the water is, with one being the most reflective and with zero being the least reflective. Water transparency is very similar because one makes it fully transparent and zero makes it fully visible. Now I should note that this transparency is only for the color, okay? So if I make it fully transparent, we can still see the water, but we can't see its color. And the last two properties are water wave size and water wave speed, which are fairly self-explanatory, right? Like wave size just increases the maximum height of the waves that can happen, and water wave speed simply increases the speed of these waves. And now let's talk about some cool facts in regards to Roblox water. The very first cool fact is that parts can sink or float depending on their material. So if I were to make a part, okay, and, you know, put it over here, and then I will duplicate that part and move it over here. If I make the parts material one of these materials, then it's going to be able to float above the water. But if it isn't one of these materials, then it's going to sink. So for example, if I were to take this part and set its material to be ice, for example, and then I were to take this part and set its material to be marble, then as you can see, the part with the ice material is floating, but the part with the marble material has sunk. The second cool fact is that there's an unresolved bug with water. In short, if you move your camera just along the edge of the water, then the sky will become dark. Now I assume this is done on purpose when you're inside of the water, just to make the outside look better in a way, but clearly there are some inconsistencies with the water hitbox because I don't know about you, but I don't feel like I'm inside the water. And the third cool fact is that apparently accessories used to sink players. According to this post on the Roblox dev wiki, the more accessories your character had, the harder it would be to swim up the water. But we can test this right now and see that my character is floating perfectly fine above the water, even though he has one, two, three, four accessories on him right now and if i were to let's say take an accessory and duplicate it and keep on duplicating it nothing happens right he doesn't sink oh i mean this looks a little weird but you know he's staying afloat he's doing his best so clearly accessories sinking you in water is an outdated thing you can delete all terrain by typing workspace dot terrain clear like so or by simply clicking on the terrain item in the workspace and clicking delete if you found this video helpful, then check out the description of this video for more value. And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.